Welcome back. New concerns for investors as stocks take a nosedive. We are looking at possible tax increases if lawmakers can't reach that so-called uh, deal over the fiscal cliff. You've heard about it, no doubt. And Europe's economy also on top of that is slumping. So what should you do right now to protect your investments? Ed Butowski is the managing partner of Chapwood Investments, and he joins us to let us know, Ed, should we sell? Is that what we, what we should do? <laughs> Well, it depends on what you're talking about. But, you know, what you have to do, Heather, and what we all need to do as financial advisors is for our clients, put events in some sort of perspective and context. And the first thing you need to know is if anything that is happening in the world is going to affect earnings, you need to be aware of that. So you always have to hear an event and say, is that going to affect earnings or projected earnings on stocks? And if so, that might hurt stock prices. Now, what's going on in Europe? absolutely can because it could be part of that worldwide slowdown that will hurt earnings for companies in the United States. The fiscal cliff is next in line and that absolutely could hurt the purchasing power that people have which then in turn hurts potential earnings for companies. So both of those are events you need to watch. Okay, now, so, here's so what let, investors do. I was going to say let's uh, take Heather, them let separately. This, Go ahead. Okay. Well, the one thing I just want to add, Heather, is what you can't do as an investor is shorten your time horizon. If you're a long-term investor, don't let any of these things really impact your short-term decision-making. So I apologize. Go oh, ahead. that's okay. But I was going to say, take us through it and deal first with the fiscal cliff. Okay. Well, the fiscal cliff, Heather, is very simply, it would be something that would take money out of the economy if taxes are raised. And as a result of that, there'll be less money to go and purchase items. Therefore, the projected earnings, and stocks move up, Heather, ahead of projected earnings, um, or they move up based on projected earnings. And if those projected earnings don't come in, you'll see those stock prices start to ratchet down. And when you start hearing earning revisions mm -hmm. coming out that are lower, that's the thing to be concerned with about the fiscal cliff. Now, there have been other instances, though, um, you know, the 1987 crash, Y2K bug, the debt ceiling of 2011, and those mm -hmm. actually ended up being, you know, good opportunities to buy stock. Do you see that happening this mm -hmm. time around? Well, you know what, historically that has always been the case. I mean, every time, you know, going back for almost a hundred and some odd years, when the stocks have dropped, you bought them and we would eventually see higher prices. And that's what this economy is all about, is that companies are out there trying to make better earnings. And as a result of that, stock prices go higher. So, you know, there will be times to buy. The question is when, because if you buy now and stocks drop, you're going to be, you know, really unhappy about that. Mm -hmm. But you have to stay fully invested. And the one thing you must stay away from, Heather, are bonds right now because you have very little upside on buying bonds at this point, especially bonds that mature longer than seven years from now. So if interest rates go higher, which they probably will, those will lose money. So in my advice, very general, is buy equities, especially if they dip, buy some more of them, don't shorten your time horizon and get out of any bonds or bond funds at this point. Okay, and don't be short-term focused and keep your emotions out of it, right? without any question. Do not get emotional. Just go out, work hard, and make this economy grow, and that's what you can do best for your stock prices. All right. Ed Butowski, thank you so much. We appreciate your insight, as always. Thanks. Absolutely. Thanks.